All right, DIY rock making part one. Supplies and tools needed to do the job. Uh, one of the most important things would be rubber gloves. Concrete's uh, caustic. It has lime in it. It will dry your skin, take all the moisture out of your hands. So wear a simple basic, you know, basic rubber gloves. Okay, so first things first. Um, Portland cement, type one or three. Uh, I only at first could find the gray Portland cement, which is here. It's cheaper per bag. Um, it works well. It basically has the same consistency as the white Portland cement, but after the rocks are made, I think the white uh, is a little more realistic, especially until like purple algae grows. It'll look more like reef rock. So, but you can use the the gray. It is cheaper per bag. I think this was eight dollars. This was uh, sixteen or seventeen. They come in like fifty pound bags. So you have more than enough. <clears throat> okay. So after that, that's the cement. Rock salt. Um, you use the rock salt. Basically, what happens is you put the rock salt. It comes in all different forms and sizes. You put this into the recipe because when the water hits this, this evaporates and it leaves little caverns and caves, makes it a little more porous. Um, I did it a whole bunch of different ways. You can leave it whole like this, or you can chop them up into finer bits. Um, try not to use the powder. If you break it up, it's going to become very powdery. So it's important to have a strainer. Um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Anyway, so the rock salt, Portland cement. Then either crushed oyster shells or um, this is uh, crushed coral. Now I preferred, I've done a couple different batches, I prefer the crushed oyster shell and that you can find at any feed store. They carry it uh, to feed chickens, believe it or not. It's a little more fine, it's not so big. Uh, these have some pretty big pieces as you can see. I was happier with the finer stuff because it created more of a more porous and more texture. It looked a little more realistic to me. But that's ultimately your choice. You can also use the, um, pebbles, um, like aggregate pebbles. Those again, those are, uh, they call it pea pebble too. To me, that just looked too big and bulky. I didn't like the way the rocks came out. Although I tried, I do prefer the crushed oyster shell. Then last but not least, clay sand. You can buy... Uh, sand from your fish store, uh, like an uh, aggregate sand, but uh, it's really expensive. Some people put this into the recipe. Um, I didn't. I did on a few, and I'll show you some examples of what I'm talking about. 